What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gospel girl today. We are going to talk about Marilee Feibig and some other things that's going on with GMA3. But I want to talk to talk to you about Marilee first because, you know, all this time she had remained silent and now she gives her statement only through her divorce lawyer. Okay, so here we go. Um, Marilee Feibig, you know, the wife of TJ Holmes, has expressed her disappointment at the way he has flaunted his affair with his co-host and lover, Amy Robach. Now, at one point, Amy and Marilee were close friends. Marilee had, you know, um, considered her as part of her female village as sisterhood, you know, and she, and I understand why she may feel blindsided and hurt. Well, anyway, let's get back to it. Speaking through her divorce lawyer, Marilee Feibig hit out at Holmes' lack of discretion, respect, and sensitivity as their 12-year marriage publicly crumbled. During the holiday season and in the light of the challenging times, Marilee's sole focus has remained on the overall best interest of her 9-year-old daughter, and that was said through her attorney, Stephanie Lehman. To that end, TJ's lawyer and I have been working together to move their divorce forward privately, expeditiously, and as amicably as possible. Um, also said by her lawyer, head of the New York and New Jersey family law practice, Phillips Neiser. Notwithstanding, we continue to be disappointed by TJ's lack of discretion, respect, and sensitivity towards Marilee and the party's daughter. Marilee has been touched by the outpouring love and support and looks forward to a new beginning in this new year, which I am happy that she's moving forward. You know, this could be a lot because now, you know, she has a nine-year-old daughter. Her daughter's probably like seeing this stuff, hearing about it, and she got to explain everything to her daughter. And that's one thing. I mean, you can't tell grown-ups what to do. But at least pump your brakes until everything is all said and done. And then you want to continue with the relationship you can. You know, but it just seems like TJ and Amy, they just don't care. They're out there. They don't care who they hurt or anything. They're just out there doing what they're doing and don't care. You know? And I don't think Marilee deserves that. I really don't. I really don't think she deserves that. Now, here is something that I didn't know. Also, Marilee Mar and Amy used to be close friends because she considered Amy part of her female village. You know, her daughters used to watch, you know, um, her daughter. And they were just really close at one time. So you can see why Marilee feels the way she does. And she feels betrayed and blindsided. And as for TJ, I remember... Um, he was telling Amy and her husband at one point that he just loved their relationship. So now you, and they was all running together and doing stuff together. And now you see that these two were doing things behind their spouse's back with each other, which is crazy. That's no respect at all. None at all. But as for their jobs at GMA, let's get into that. So they will remain suspended until you know the end of the internal review is done which is not done yet but i also read somewhere that gma3 is looking at some other people to probably replace them okay and those two people that gma3 is looking to replace tj and amy is carson daly and jenna um Bush Hager, those are the two that he, they are looking at to try to bring over from another network from, from the Today Show actually over to GMA Network. Now, I don't know how that's going to work out because Carson Daly and Jenna they have things in their contracts where they cannot go to another network and work, you know, they can't go to the, the competing um, networks and work. So, I don't know. What GMA going to do and how they're going to do that. But they are, they were looking into that. 
And on the list, there's a few people that's on the list that are poachable. Um, and Hoda, and I think somebody else is on, is, is on that list. So, I don't know how that's going to work out, to be honest. But the fact that they still have not come to a decision, and also the source said there's not going to be a decision this week, and it's going to take a while. So, maybe they know what they want to do, but trying to figure out how to do it. But I don't know if it's looking good for TJ and Amy to come back to GMA3. If it, if they're doing all of this. You get what I'm saying? So if you think about it, if they want them to come back, they'll just keep the replacement they have until. But why are you looking for permanent replacement? You get what I'm saying? So we just got to wait and see if they're going to come back or not. But if they don't come back, I think Gio and Janai are doing really good. Just... Keep them there or what keep, you know, just keep them there and just move on from it. But as for TJ and Amy, I don't know how this is all going to play out because it's looking real sketchy right now. But anyway, yeah, that's insane. That is really insane. <sighs> but TJ and Amy, they don't, they out there, you know, living that life. They don't care. You know, they just doing what they do. But I did read in the comment section where somebody said that Amy, not Amy, that Mary Lee needs to also be careful because if the divorce hurts her husband's pocket, it could hurt hers as well because of their child. He would not be able to pay child support or whatever. So here is the comment. She has to be careful though. If she hurts him professionally and financially, she will also be hurting his ability to pay her and their child the big bucks. She's been cutting off her nose to spite her face, as they say. And I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with that. How do you guys feel about that? Someone also said Amy Robot will lose him the same way. These women always think they are special and different than the wife. All my best to Mary Lee and her daughter. Life will get better, I promise. This too shall pass. Sounds like he was a real player with other staff members too. Eh, we heard about that. So, Mary Lee exhibits an enormous amount of class when dealing with this STD on two feet. Hope she finds the guy she deserves. No, they did not call him an STD on two feet. I can't with these comments. Both are two-time cheaters and despicable people. Nice way to inform the once you promise until death do us part in their marriage vows and now celebrating their disgusting behavior publicly shows no class at all. Someone said, I can't imagine where extremely woke ABC will have no problem with audience having to watch this pair yucking, yucking it up upon a variety of stories that get covered by GMA. Didn't Matt Lauer stay popular until what everyone, until what everyone at their show knew actually became public? Is pop culture so short of talent they can't fill these jobs? As previously mentioned, the chase is over. He'll get bored and he'll move on. So, that's what I've been hearing a lot about. Now that their affair or their relationship is public, the chase and the, the how you call it, the height of it, you know, the, the, the thrill of it, it's, gonna, it's like dying down. And you just never know how it might turn out. So, those were the comments. Let me know if you agree with those, with those comments down in the comment section and do you think that jma3 is being sneaky on how they're trying to um do this whole thing with tj and amy by looking for potential people let me know in the comments as well and i will talk to you guys later